Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another episode of Sin Plays Monkey Minds. And today, I'm actually going to do some exploring today, but I just wanted to show you this. Uh, I was just playing around with the uh, villagers here and a diamond sword. So that is actually one of the things that I was really, really excited to get. Um, you know, he could disappear at the end. Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> That could have been very, very bad. Um, hopefully this fall actually won't kill him now. Um, we'll, hear, we'll hear the noise. Oh, I'm not very... I'm not sure. That would be unfortunate. Nope, he is still there. So I've saved a few villagers. Not for anything really in particular. Um, he's a diamond chest plate guy. He's the diamond sword guy. Um, diamond axe guy diamond helmet guy so these are sort of just diamond things that I you know that you know for the moment they're, they're good trades but I'll see as I start trading with them if I get a good villager maybe one of them will have all three will have you know a sword a diamond pickaxe and all the diamond armor brilliant you know I won't even worry about it um, this guy here was offering bookshelves and then he got the paper trade so I've just been trading paper with him um, to get as much as I can and I'm out um, one thing that is very, very apparent is that I need a lot more, a lot more sugarcane, and I think uh, I'm going to be building a sugarcane farm. I have found a really cool design, um, so that is definitely something on the agenda. Sorry, buddy, but it's your time to go. Turn it off, and bam. Pick him up. Oh, I'm fairly certain that was the one I was looking at, right? Ooh, I another librarian. That's the one I was waiting to grow up. Oh. Waiting for it. Waiting for it. Yeah. That's a bread guy. Yeah. So the, it, it's sort of a thing. It's just you know, you have to just do a lot of stuff to get a few villagers. Redstone. I have one that already gives four. Ender eyes. I don't really need those. <laughs> Considering how much uh, ender pearls we have, that's not needed. So, yeah, I spend a lot of my time just going through, maybe trying to get these villagers, and he wants a compass straight off. I think, unless they have a paper trade, I'm not going to worry about those villagers, um, because the paper trade is the one that you really want, um, and for the perfect villager, I'm going to look, I'm going to st only start on the gold ones, I think, um, until I have until I have a point at which I have a, a good amount of emeralds, because... Um, Oh, actually, wait, 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 wait. Let's 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 just try it out. Let's just try it out, and then we'll go doing do some adventuring. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the Nether, um, and I'm going to go find a. Um, I'm going to so go through the Nether, take some obsidian with me, just dig a tunnel. I don't know, maybe a, a few hundred blocks out, and uh, we'll set up shop there, and we'll see how we go. Um, yeah, you know, I'll just take all those with me for the moment. Um, yeah, and just see if we, what we can find. Uh, I might bring a different sword, and I'll probably change my armor. And I might quickly go back to spawn and repair. I'll spawn to the ender farm and repair those boots, because those are my favorite boots in the whole wide world. I don't want them to break. <laughs> uh, so let's see what you get. If he gets a bad trade off the bat, then I don't know what to do. Though the only thing about that compass that I can use is you use a compass to make... Is it like that? There you go, to make a map. Empty map. So we can make a, a we can have a look at where we are on the map. Oh, that's actually really cool. <laughs> so I think we will um, we'll put that on the wall, uh, most likely, and we can put that right there. And look, oh, I'm pointing with my hand. Um, look at the... Um, in the top corner there, you can see the checkered flag of the thing. So, actually, this is pretty cool. Um, though the only thing is, it's the some of the buildings are very dark on the top, and they don't show exactly what everything is. But still, really, really cool. So I might put that in the uh, in the area in a moment. But let's see if you open up a new trade, which you did. Bookshelves, one, two, three. So far, looking good. We could get the paper early on, um, which is pretty cool. And I think I traded with the other village down there. I bought some bookcases off him to, to get books and a written book. Oh, I had a written book. Where did I put it? All right, let's go quickly find it. Um, 
obviously you want to gold trade as early as possible when you're using these villages um, because um, that gold trade uh, no, it's over here. Sorry, um, that gold trade is an expensive one. It's sort of it is renewable now, but it's still a big pain to get gold. Um, even even though it isn't renewable, so to write in a book, you just go sign, put H or whatever you, you want to do, and you have a written book that's named H that is currently blank. Though there you go H, and then you open it up, and it's blank done. Um, so you can leave a book in Quill and you can edit it at all times, but then with that one, once you've signed it, it becomes a written book. Um, and for the purposes of this... Oops, I thought that was going to go straight in. It didn't. Um, yeah, you can make it like that. It gets a new trade, hopefully. It goes into love mode. Get every particle effect you could possibly imagine under the sun. I could do this all day. And paper trade. Actually, it's a pretty good paper trade as well. So what I might do is I might send him down as well um, it's pretty late on it probably won't last for too long but at the same time it's better than nothing it's just cool watching it go brilliant so I have one spot remaining uh, before I start need to either move some villages out or um, yeah so I think the other thing I'm gonna do probably in, in a soon, another episode soon as well is make the um, Make the holding area for the good vi villages. So this is the like the testing area, and then once we get good villages, uh, a place that we can move them out. So um, see, so yeah, like those blacksmith ones. I'm not sure because you know this was where my manor was going to be. I'm not sure if I want to take this over for the manor, or I should maybe bring it over here and make like a um, a hall over here, like a long a long thing of villages. You know, just in this area here. So I have maybe, um, I don't know, put villages on one side and the other, and you can just run down the center and just have like the the trade above them, which makes them good, I suppose, um, in an iron frame or something like that. And I'll say this for the matter. I might do that because I have a large amount of space just here. Whoops. Um, that I sort of unusable at the moment. Um, but yeah, I also could just chuck them into these areas here. I was thinking about making these even smaller, so make it sort of, you know, put two into all of these. Um, you know, we'll see how we go. Um, you know, it's one of those things. But yeah, guys, I think I'm going to take a break for a second. Um, I'll go dig a hole through the nether. I'm just going to go from our tunnel. I'm just going to keep going uh, east. East? Yeah, I'm going to keep going east. Um, and I'll see how we go. Alright guys, I'll be with you in just a second. Okay guys, uh, we're now here. Artisan is with me. He can't be in a Skype call again, unfortunately, but we can have some fun either way. So let's take, uh, this one with us. Whoops. Come bring it, bring it to me. Um, the idea here is, oh, those bubbles are a bit annoying sometimes. Um, the idea here is we're going to go explore some nether. We have, um, nether, sorry. We have um, explored some overworld, and we have found, um, we haven't found anything yet, but just the two of us on, if I press F3, we are 850 blocks out, which is about 100, uh, 250 blocks further than um, where we where my, my remote base is to the east. And hopefully at the daytime, it's actually, is it, it's going down, um, sleep? Quickly sleep so we can survey the area and don't get uh, attacked by mobs too quickly. Um, if we die, at least we'll go back to spawn. Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I was hoping he brought his bed as well. So with this episode, hopefully we're going to find some um, some awesome things. Um, not sure what we're going to find. Um, to the east is probably best um which is this way yeah oh new flowers too oh, that's really cool so already out into the world i'll get rid of that as well um yeah we're gonna look for some stuff hopefully we won't put too much strain oh i can't see the floor 
Okay, so I'm gonna zap over there. Aha! There we go. That's the first time we'll come down. We'll leave him. So Nosnitz is in his diamond armor. I am in my uh, iron armor, as you can see. And some normal flowers. And then, ooh, there's a creeper there. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Hopefully we won't shoot each other in the face too much. Um, actually, let's have a quick look at these numbers here okay so that way i've got it in my brain so if i get lost i can uh, find my way back let's grab some of these and some of these i did bring an ender chest as you saw so that way we can put some stuff in there it is a little bit full with other stuff and um yeah it's pretty cool i don't know what he's doing there but yeah we've both got a speed potion on as well um hopefully we'll find some of the newer biomes oh this is tall grass ah cool uh, i'm not sure if tall grass you can grow tall grass in newly if only you only can grow it in newly generated chunks but you can definitely um but, uh, sorry i don't know if you can grow it, grow it only in newly generated chunks or if you can grow it in all chunks um once the update is out and i see some awesome new flowers and some rose bushes Whew, some new flower everyone needs new flowers and that sort of stuff so that's pretty cool um we might have some trouble here loading up the um ooh, i have no idea what these are called Penny, pennies, pennies. That's pretty cool. Uh, everyone loves these new flowers and everything like that. So I think these are lilacs. Yeah. Oof, they're nice. Okay. Um, so pretty cool stuff out here. Hopefully we can find um, some new different biomes. Uh, we were unsure if we're in a large... Um, uh, I looked at it when I... Um, came through in the video um, so I have a record because <laughs> I recorded it um, I've already lost him Artisan Artisan um, I think I'm a bit lost <laughs> lost you already as I was typing, I didn't didn't see where he went. That's unfortunate. Well, let's go out to the plains here. Hopefully, these are plains, and we can find out what's here. Um, I'm in plains. I'm in plains. Um, so yeah, I, now I think about it, I should have brought a saddle um, because. Yeah. <laughs> Let's give my chords. 71956544. My uh no, 7195 -654. I thought I had pretty good view distance, but maybe it doesn't render players as well. Hmm. Um yeah, I should have brought a um should have brought a saddle so I could have um, tamed some horses or ridden some horses around at least. Um, I think what we'll do is I might go away and I'll come back when we found something new. This is new generated chunks because it is a very far away and it also has the, uh, the new flowers. So that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, guys, I'll be back with you in just a second. Uh, okay guys, so back again, and so we've been exploring, we've been in the plains for a while, we're definitely in large biomes, um, and yeah, I think we're heading for hopefully a blacksmith, if there is one here, and it doesn't look like there is any, darn, no blacksmith, um, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Very unfortunate. But, you know, let's see what these guys have. You know, pretty good cheap trades, I suppose. Four villagers. Shears. Don't really need shears. Oh, I've run out of, run out of sprint juice. Also known as... Oh, no, I don't want that. Nope, don't want that. What do you have to offer, young man? Hey, vendor. Not really, no. Hmm, well, that was sort of a bust. We were hoping to get something really cool out of that, but it looks like uh, we won't, so I'll come back and continue on. Yeah. 
Okay guys, uh, this is another village we're coming across. Hopefully when it, the chunk actually loads. There we go. It has loaded now. Or well, half loaded. Excellent. I don't think this is going to happen. This one feels like a small one as well. Yeah. Hmm. Oh no, it's bigger than I expected actually. Let's uh, F3A this bad boy. And see how we go in here. Be weird if we have found two villages, no blacksmith, and it looks like that is the case, doesn't it? Oh, we got two there. Again, uh, no BS. Whoops! Don't worry about me. Just knocking the uh, <laughs> knocking the mouse all around the table. Uh, that's very weird. Let's see what this librarian has. Is he a gold trade right at the beginning? If he doesn't, he's not really worth anything anyway. Oh, paper trade not to start, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Um, yeah, so hopefully we might find a um, another new biome soon, hopefully. Uh, if we don't, I don't know what's going to do. I might have to come back to another episode out here once we found something good. Alright guys, I'll be with you in just a second. On our journey through the plains, we have found heaps and heaps of horses. Not that many, but that's a fair chunk, plus more over there. Wow, I think um, we definitely want to come out here. Let's have a quick look at these coordinates. Okay, so we know where to come um, when we do it. We know where to come uh, for horses. Probably should include that, la that last bit there. Now I've gotten a little bit disorientated, actually. No, no, we're going this way. That's right. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, hopefully, they find you by. We haven't found anything really that much, so... Um, I may just put this as a quick clip episode at the end of what I had before, and um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to come back. Uh, I'll come back to do an outro, um, but apart from that, I don't think I'm going to come back and do anything else, because we haven't really found anything new, because this large biomes. <laughs> so yeah, guys, I'll be with you in uh, just a minute. Hey guys, uh, and guess what? I have found a savannah biome. Um, oh, I actually, this is the second day. I've actually recorded this episode later on. Um... <laughs> yeah. Uh, tough in the forest. Um, so I, I did some exploring and I finally found a desert biome. We are, whoops, sorry, a long way out at the moment. Uh, this is the first biome I found that isn't either desert, tundra, extreme hills, or ocean. <laughs> uh, so this is really cool. And uh, Ali or Nordali had asked me to get him a sapling. Uh, I'll probably get myself a sapling as well if I can get one off this tree. Uh, I don't have much space in my thing. I'd love to find a donkey actually. That'd be pretty cool. Um, I did find some horses out there, so we'll have a quick we'll have a quick walk around. So these are this is the savannah and these are the acacia trees I believe they're called. Um, and look at that beautiful black horse. Look at it. He is beautiful. I'm going to take him. No, I got to have empty hand. That's right. So I'm going to try to tame this bad boy. Oh, look at those hearts. No. <laughs> no. Six hearts. There we go. Twelve hearts. Now, you better be a good runner. I'll be really happy. Um, but yeah. So this could be our new... Not lucky. I already have a lucky. But this could be... Um, I don't know. Something like... Uh, Speedy Gonzalez or something like that. Um, hopefully if he's fast. Twelve hearts. Not a bad horse either way, and pure black. That's definitely something I'm looking for. Don't you dare walk down that hole. <laughs> and hearts. No, he decided to run off a little bit. Um, but this is really cool. I'll get a sapling here. If I can find a donkey, I'll definitely use a donkey. Um, but until that point, because um, the good thing about having a donkey is you can put saddlebags on him, uh, on it, and it will... Um, it will have a good time. Now, I have been exploring um, some jungle temples. Oop. Oh, wait. Let me just wait. If you uh, if you saw it quickly there, I have got... A... There we go. Oop. No, I got the hearts. There we go. So, put a saddle on him. So, now we can ride him. Um, so, I've got some diamonds, some golden horse armor. Let's put the golden horse item, armor on him as well. Um, so this is a, this is a fill in lucky, I suppose. Uh, and we should be able to ride him around. Whoa! I don't know if that was a lag or what, but yeah, he seems alright. Not not overly fast, but not overly slow. So that's pretty good. It'll make it uh, make it a lot easier to travel around. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly jump off him. 
Um, I'm going to break some wood here from the acacia trees in the savannah. Savannah? Savara? Savannah? Savannah. I think it's Savannah. I think that's how it's spelled. Um, it's sort of a very dry, arid place here. Um, actually, you know what I might do? I might just chop this tree down. I'll grab a sapling, uh, and I'm going to come back. I'm going to explore the uh, the desert a bit more and try to find a, um, a mesa biome because one of my upcoming projects is going to need that. See so, yeah, you guys. I will... Uh, Whoa, look at that lag. That was some good lag. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll be with you in just a second. Okay, guys, um, I apologize if this is a bit of a clip episode today, um, but it's raining outside now that I'm home, so that's why we're in the house. Um, and, yeah, guys, I just wanted to say, um, if you like this video, if you want to see more videos, if you want to see different kind of videos from this, chuck it in the comments below. Uh, thumbs up always helps. And, uh, as always, guys, have a good day. Sin out.